Everybody wants to know, what does lighting cost? But what does it really cost? There's initial cost for the equipment. There's the operating cost. But how do we put all of these costs together into a single useful number? That's what life cycle cost is all about. Life cycle cost collects all of the costs related to a lighting system and analyzes them over the life of the system, perhaps over its longest living component, or over the facility itself, and brings them to a single number that can be used to assess system cost and for comparing systems. There are four basic components to life cycle cost. There's the material, including replacement parts such as a lamp or ballast, there's the energy cost to operate it. There's the labor to install and maintain the lighting system. And then there's the disposal cost when the system has reached end of life. These four elements, material, energy, labor, and disposal, or MELD, provide a useful acronym for remembering life cycle cost components. Now let's see what drives each component of life cycle cost. For material, there's the cost of a single unit of the lighting system multiplied by as many units as are necessary to deliver the lighting effect desired. Then there's the replacement cost of each of the components that need to be maintained over the life cycle. Energy cost is determined by four basic factors. How much power or wattage is used in the system, how many hours or how long it operates, and how much you pay for the electricity itself. Labor cost begins with the installation of the lighting system, including how many units and how hard they are to install. For maintenance, it's the difficulty and frequency of maintaining the system and the cost of labor, typically in dollars per hour. Disposal cost depends on the system used and the frequency and price of disposal. As a broad rule, for indoor lighting, electricity is the primary cost. And for outdoor lighting, initial cost, including installation, tends to be more significant. Let's do an example using one two-lamp light strip with high-efficiency fluorescent lamps and a high-efficiency ballast operating 24 hours a day, seven days a week over a life cycle of 30 years. We're also going to assume an electricity cost of 10 cents per kilowatt hour. Now let's see how those different costs mount up. Our material cost including this simple luminaire, replacement lamps and ballasts over the 30-year life totals $200. Compare that to the $1,150 for the electricity cost based on a load of 44 watts and as I said before, 10 cents per kilowatt hour. Labor costs total $300 based on a three-year maintenance cycle for all lamps with ballasts replaced every other cycle. This scheduled or group relamping increases material costs but reduces labor cost and is overall significantly less expensive. Disposal is less than $10 over the 30-year life. The total cost is $1,650 just to operate this single two-lamp strip light over 30 years. Material was 12%, electricity 70%, labor 18%, and disposal less than 1%. The most common use of life cycle cost analysis is in evaluating alternative systems. Here you need to be sure that each system satisfies the project's lighting needs in terms of illumination, visual comfort for participants in the space, color and aesthetic values. Thinking about our example, we might have used a less expensive lamp which would have saved $40 over the 30-year life cycle but would have incurred higher electricity costs of $260. It's easy to make the wrong decision and lose money. But life cycle cost analysis prevents that.